I was stuck on a tree for three hours. Everybody was screaming and crying, and then we just sat there and prayed and hoped that it would all go down. It was up to my neck. It did that in like five seconds. Bodies and trees, bodies in the streets. From off that boat, I fell. It was in a construction site. I fell in the hole. He was in a coma, and he didn't wake up for two weeks, and then he died. The storm delivered by Hurricane Katrina to New Orleans and the United States Gulf Coast did more than destroy buildings and wash away communities. It forever changed the lives and minds of those that solely depend on others for their safety. These are just a few of the thoughts and experiences from the children of the storm. You've heard the saying, you have to see it to believe it. From news reporters to emergency personnel, this feeling is consistent. The first time seeing the wide Katrina devastation is overwhelming, especially through a child's eyes. We're seeing houses budged into other houses, cars into other cars, flip cars, telephone poles, and trees through houses. I would have never thought that a house could go a block from its original foundation. Children in New Orleans and along the Gulf Coast were enjoying the last lazy days of August. School had just started. They were back with their friends. Soon all of that would change because of a fierce hurricane. These are the stories of those children told in their own words. Before my house got flooded, it was really cool. We had like a circle. It was a cul-de-sac, and we'd be able to play up, and we'd be able to play in the fields. We'd play football and all different kinds of things. And I'd play basketball, and with my with the basketball goal I had got for Christmas. Well, I felt that it was going to be pretty bad, and I felt that there was going to be much excitement afterwards, because I felt that it was going to be as bad as Camille or worse. When I first heard about, heard about the hurricane. I ain't worried about it. The only, only thing I had was football and some of my friends. That's it in school. I didn't think it was really going to be that bad. I didn't expect what it, what it looks like now. And I was like, I really wasn't that scared. But when the hurricane was hitting, I got a little scared. I got word once the storm started hitting, it started shaking the house. I was pretty scared. When we looked, they were like, no, that's a wall of water. I was like, whoa. Their roof collapsed on them, they couldn't make it out the house. 